Hey guys, the next problem I'm going to be completing is the application problem 8-1 in the textbook. Sometimes these videos can be a little bit lengthy, so I tried to um, work through some of the more tedious stuff first so that I wouldn't have to write all the accounts out as we were doing it. So application problem 8-1, I'm going to start with that, but 8-2 also builds off the problem. So it says a journal and general ledger accounts for Rosemount Copy Center are given in the working papers. A partial worksheet for the month ended June 30th of the current year is shown below. So this June 30th, they have a um, fiscal period of a month. So these are this is all the accounting information for that one month at this company. So I'm going to get out my matching workbook papers, and the first thing I need to do is journalize any of the closing entries. Um, the instructions say, continue on page 12 of the journal. We know it's page 12. Journalize and post the closing entries. So this is just that next step in the accounting process. The first thing we did was journalize. The second thing we did was post to the general ledger. Um, then we created a worksheet. And from the worksheet, we made income statement and balance sheets. And then from there, we complete some closing entries. Anything we might have missed. Um, I mean... It's not accurate. Anything that um, we are closing out. Not that we missed. Um, I'm talking about sales account and expense accounts. We need to close those out at the end of the accounting cycle because it's what we do. So we close them out to the income summary accounts. Then we close the income summary account out to capital. Then we close capital out to drawing. And this way we can close all the temporary accounts, see the final permanent accounts. But we also still have this information documented. We just don't want to carry it over into the new fiscal period come July. We don't want to carry over any of this information. We want to break this down month by month by month. So in June, we want to know how many expenses we had. Start fresh for July. Same thing in June. We wanted to know how much sales we had and start fresh for July. So... We have your permanent accounts and your temporary accounts, which I discussed before. Permanent accounts are real accounts, so your assets, liabilities, and owner's capital account. Your temporary accounts are your revenue, expenses, owner's drawing, income summary, and those get transferred to the owner's capital. This is standard. It's not a trick. We have your closing entries are the journal entries used to prepare temporary accounts for a new fiscal period. And the balances have to be reduced to zero to prepare for the next period. So what I did here was write all of my accounts that I am going to close. So let's just go ahead and walk through those entries together. Um, first one is my sales. So we want to find sales on this sheet. Sales is $1,704, and it's a credit. Well, to close out the sales account, we originally started with the 1704 To close it out, we need to debit it to the 1704 So we write the 30th sales, 1704 Four, and that just gets closed right to the income summary, 1704. So income summary, then we have, I'm going to abbreviate it as income summary. Now we have a credit balance of 1704. Next thing we do is close out all those expenses. I'm going to write the date here, which is the 30th. Income summary is going to be the debit, but right now I want to just close out the expense accounts. So if they are naturally a debit, then I'm going to have to credit them because I want to make the account balance zero. If I would debit this, I would not make the account balance zero. I would make it 400 or 
250 plus 250 is 500. I would make it 510, and I don't want to do that. I want to make it zero. So I'll go down each one. If it's a debit over here, I'm going to credit it over here. So I will start here. 255 is my advertising expense. Cash short and over is $2.00. Insurance expense is one thirty five. Miscellaneous is one thirty eight. Um, supplies expense is three thirty. Two seventy two is your utilities expense. You have a calculator? Add it up. Make sure you copied it over right. This is strategic. You need to make sure you copy it over right. Okay, when we add it up, we should get a total of 1,300, I'm wrong, 1,132. And this amount should match the one on our book, 1,132. Because we already totaled that column, but we need to make sure we wrote the right responses. So, 1,132 for income summary. This balance is more than this one. We need to subtract credit from debit to get a total of 572 credit balance. If this number was bigger than this one, it would be a debit balance, but it's not. So now our income summary has a credit balance of 572. We need to close out that income summary 572, close it out to the capital account. That's just what we do. The capital account is permanent, and it can take that. That's our net income. If you did it right, it should be the same number that's here, 572, net income. Check yourself. Last one is capital and drawing. We want to close out the drawing account to our capital account. So our drawing has a balance of... Drawing has a balance of 375. If money is being drawn out of the company, that means it's being decreased. So let me show you something. Here's our capital account. We have the 9,695. Well, our drawing account is 375. It shows it right here, okay? Putting it right here. Well, we need to close out our drawing account to our capital account. So our first step is to close out the drawing, 375. This is what we did. We credited 375. Well, if we credited this, we need to have a debit entry. And we close it to the capital account, so we debit. Here it is. Well, if our normal balance of capital account is this, and this is the um, debit, we have to subtract them. So we take 375 and we minus it. Two, I think, three, nine. Okay, I wrote that there so I could do mental math. We are now at a new capital account total of 9320. I'm showing you that in T charts in hopes that it makes sense. So, closing out our capital account, I mean our drawing account, closing it out to our capital account. The capital account is going to be debited, so we have 375. And our credit is 375. All we did was the opposite of what the drawing was. Drawing 375 debit, so we need to credit it. Great, we did that. Now let's post the most simplest part, but yet must be strategic.